Hello and welcome to episode 24 of my Astroneer tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on us building a shuttle and either going to the moon or one of the planets. We'll, we'll see where we can go once I've built the shuttle. Um, before I start though on this episode I just want to mention something. So in the last episode I went exploring Terran and I travelled, I circumnavigated the whole planet so I went all the way around it. And let's see if the more observant among you can notice a difference um, to the last time you see this little area. Well, for those of you that haven't watched any of the previous episodes, I'll tell you what the difference is. The difference is that all my little um, rovers, there was three rovers, all parked in a line, supplying power from above ground to below ground, they've all just vanished just disappeared. Um, that's happened many times with my trucks and previous rovers as well. So for those of you that are thinking about buying Astroneer, I would say wait, hold, hold that off. I mean I can only be honest with you, I'm not here to be negative about a single game. Um, I love playing Astroneer, but at the moment I think it's questionable whether it's actually this is game breaking or not because you spend time making a vehicle and if you travel enough distance away from your base come back your vehicles will just be gone now people have said they're under the ground or they're somewhere um, but you know what that is a very big annoyance the fact that vehicles just disappear anyway I thought I'd share that with you and let you know so what I'm going to do, I've decided, rather than um, carry on digging down, because I am still digging down, and no doubt I'll continue digging down, down. but for now I thought, to make it a little interesting, let's build a shuttle, because um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to make this the last episode until more bug fixings being done in Astroneer, and more fixes. Unless, of course, um, when I get to the moon or wherever it is we're going I feel that uh, a bit more exploring might be in order but anyway so let's build a shovel a shuttle not a shovel a shuttle uh, we're going to use the vehicle bay I'm using the one above ground because obviously it's getting power from the solar panels so there we go that's the shuttle uh, it's going to use four compound to make so let's build it now the shuttle will need filling up with fuel so that's what we're going to have to do next and I will show you. Okay so there's our shuttle, looks cool, yeah. Um, but now we need to put fuel in it and this here that you can see in the centre is the fuel tank for it. So what I'm going to do is empty out my um, backpack if you like to make room for a load of fuel but I need to take with me when you go traveling in your shuttle you're going to need to take with you some resin and some compound the reason for that is when we get to where we're going oh, I can put it in there um, let's put that back. When we get to where we're going, the first thing we're ne going to need to use is resin in order to start our base, as you're going to see. Um, right, so let's see that... F oh no, that was an oxygen tank, not fuel. Oh, never mind, let's see if I can find one. Can I slot that in there for now? Let's just put this on the ground. I don't expect they're going to disappear in five minutes unless a storm comes to give me a bad day which is a possibility of course um, can I stick this oxygen anywhere yeah cool right okay so now we need to grab some fuel and fill up its tank so let's quickly go down below because I know I've got some fuel. Hopefully it's enough fuel. There you go, there's the fuel. If I haven't got enough, then I'll have to do a little bit of mining. Oh, 
so here we go, lag fill. <clears throat> don't know what causes this lag fill, it does do it occasionally. Right, oh cool, I've got four more. I've got a feeling we're going to need it all. So let's take it all. Yeah, I don't know, Astroneer is shaping up to be such a lovely game, but I doubt there's many other games you would tolerate the amount of um, little bugs and glitches, but of course it is still so new, and because it's shaping up so beautifully, it's so easy to forgive Astroneer any faults that it might have, because they're only temporary until they fix it. Okay, so you can see that that slot there is where you put the fuel. So when you left click on it, watch that middle tank fill up. See, it went up a little bit. So let's grab some more fuel. So cool the way it works. I do love it, don't get me wrong. The only reason I mention them negative things is because I've got to be honest with you all. If you're spending hard earned money, I want you to know what you're letting yourself in for. Okay, so it's full of fuel, so I can put a couple of spares, like so. So we've got a bit of extra fuel for when I get stranded somewhere. Not if, when I get stranded. And now what we'll do is pick these back up before storm arrives. Notice I'm going to take four resin with me and four compound. You will see why. I mean, no doubt we can get this resource, but just to be on the safe side, it's best to be prepared. I'm sure you will agree. Okay. Should I take a spare fuel with me? No, I'm going to take compound. Although really, I just should drop, drop off this extra battery. I'm not going to need that. Let's see where I can throw this. Hopefully in here. So if I take one of them compound, drop that down, take the battery out, because it's not mission critical. There we go, so I've got four compound, four resin, and one spare fuel. Okay, so now what we do, we'll hop in. Oh no, wait a minute, I'm jumping the gun. I need a seat. Dang it, and my seat's disappeared along with everything else. Right, okay, so I need to make a seat now. I'm not going to panic. Instead, I'm going to get busy doing what I need to do. So, it's going to probably use compound. Uh, let's just leave them there. Let's whiz over to where I just was. Luckily it's full of compound. One seat. That's the ticket. Thank you very much. Right, cool. Let's take our seat. What's that doing on the ground? Did I really leave it there? Okay, so I've got my four compound. It's just a full resin I'll need to pick back up. Let's put the seat on. There we go. And we have got two free slots on the top there. Uh, you can't put large storage on the small shuttle. You have to put it on the tier 2 shuttle. Uh, large storage. So I can fit a small storage on here. So if I wanted to be crafty what I would do is look for one of my small storage no that's not small storage okay let's go downstairs I don't know what's going on here compound keeps appearing on the floor or is that me leaving it there let's just pull it I don't want a storm to just get rid of it. What on earth? You see that? Look at that. So that should tell you a little of what's going on in Astroneer. It's a beautiful game, but it's full of 
uh, a lot of weird things going on. Now, let's focus because the bugs are trying to take over and I'm not going to let them because I love Astronaut and I want this game to grow. I want it to expand. I can't wait for more content. Um, this is a game that's begging to be played. It really is. Right, there's a small storage. Yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm still just going to play this regardless, I don't care if I lose stuff, it's just pure fun to play. I still need to find the blueprints though for the bigger, sh the tier 2 shuttle, I'd really like to get that and give it a try, give it a whirl, see what trouble I can get into. Okay, that can go right there, now what that means to the likes of me and you, is I can put fuel in there now. I can load it up with some spare compound. But because we're going to be starting a new base where wherever we're going, we're going to need resin. Because remember, resin is what you use to. Uh, actually, let's put more compound in. Resin is what you use for building your base up to start with, and of course that's right where we're going to be starting. Oh. Thanks, pick that up. I can't believe this. I just wanted to make a shovel, a shuttle, fly off into space, show y'all what it's like, get you a feel for it, and um, progress on. Maybe do a bit of exploring. But I'll be lucky if I get off the planet in this time. Right, okay, so I'm just going to fill up the last two slots and then grab as much resin to take with me as I can. Okay, so let's just quickly go grab a load of resin. Oh, if the timer goes, I don't care. I'm going to make this one a bit longer if it does. Okay, so the resin, I've got a load over here. Alright, well, a load equates to two. We all have a different definition of what a load is. You can tell mine just two is hardly anything, but never mind. Oh, there's one more. Let's grab that. Oh, that's a generator. Okay, well, that'll have to do. Let's see now what trouble we can get into. I'm probably going to just explode on the moon. organic okay time to head back and let's take off it's really simply done um, once we take off in the shuttle I think then well I won't speculate I'll show you instead okay now I'm probably kissing my truck goodbye because uh, like I say when you travel a distance and then come back unless you're actually in the vehicle traveling that distance you can kiss it goodbye Oh, I was going to see what that research is for. Let's quickly do that. Maybe I'll get the Tier 2 shuttle. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, let's plonk that in there. Let's do the research. It's like a roll of the lucky dip. One of them old gambling machines. Um, oh, a drill head. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. We just got a drill head. So I can make that now. Anyway, let's hop in my craft and see how long I live. Right, now you can see here we've got launch. So that's what we're going to do. Launch ourselves off into the vast space. How lovely does that look? Now, when you go to land back on the planet, oh, that's what I'm going to I'm going to show you that. All right, it's going to waste fuel, but it's important for you to to see. Okay, so you've got this here, which is going to yeah. You can't click on these other planets. So what you any option you've got is to click this, and then you can select. 
Oh, all right, timer, for goodness sake. I'm trying to get into a flow here of what's going on. Okay, so from here, you can choose where you want to go. So I'm going to ask you, where should we go? Ah, oh, well, you've got a ring, a limit to how far you can travel. So we can go to the moon, which is barren. So I don't think we want to go there, really. Or we can go to the tundra. Or, in fact, maybe I can do another episode, one on each. So let's go to the tundra first. So if I click on that, I'm now travelling there in my shuttle. How cool is that? So here we go. Now I'm flying around this tundra. So let's now click this. And... Uh, wait a minute, All right. oh, you have to click on one of the blue bubbles on the planet to choose it as a landing site. There we go. Alright, I didn't waste too much fuel. Oh, and it couldn't have landed me in a worse place, if I'm completely honest with you. How on earth am I going to build a base here? Let's show you, however. So what you do, if you want to start a new base when you land on a planet, which is something you'll have to do, obviously. Just sorry, it's been a little while since I've done this, so I'm just having a little look around. Uh, I think you just click on it. Yeah, there you go. So you have to, when you first land, you click on this connector on the front of the ship, and it will pull out this first module of your base. That's why you need the resin. So what we do now, grab some resin. Even though this is... Wait a minute, actually, you know what? I'm not going to build it here. I'm going to take back off and find a better landing site. Because that's just crazy to do it there. It's on a hill and I can't do a base. So what we'll do is take off again and choose somewhere else to land on the planet. It looks like a nice planet. This tundra. Okay, so we didn't like there. So now what we're waiting for is landing sites to appear. There you go, all of these rings you can land in. So let's try that one. That looks flat, I hope. Not, I've got a clue. I mean, for goodness sake, how are you going to know where's flat? Oh, my tank's getting low. I'm going to be stranded. Yeah, that's a bit better, definitely. Let's just do it, for goodness sake. I could spend all day getting out and in. So what we do, Again, like I say, click on this nozzle of your ship, get some resin, plonk it in, and there we go, our base has been started. Now what we can do is, same as before, we want to expand it so we can make further parts to this. If I hope that makes sense. You don't want to build your first machine there because it'll... Uh, it'll cramp how big you can make your base. So do another one, and then that first one can be used to expand off in di different directions. This one you can make into, um, well, let's take a look. If I put two in there, or should I expand it one more? Yeah, I think I'll expand it one more. There we go. Right, this one now I will build into our first structure. Okay, so now of course we start, just like we did with our first base, we need to prioritise and decide what's most important. I'm guessing the most important thing to start with has got to perhaps be the printer. 
of course you'll all have different opinions everyone plays differently this is only my uh, choice so in order to make a printer though you need copper in order to make a copper in order to make copper you need a smelter so maybe the smelter is the best first choice let's make a smelter Yep, of course there's no power, so that's the next thing to make. If we go into my backpack, remember it's down here that you make your first items. So, solar panel would be good. Needs one compound. Now, I've got more compound on the ship, so don't panic. So, oh, that's going to make a small one. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's our only choice. These are all small. So hopefully that will be enough to give us a bit of power. To start this base once the sun comes up. While I'm waiting let's slot some more fuel into my shuttle. And yes, that's going to be something I need to do. But my tank is nearly full, so it's not like it's a great problem. Now, I noticed over there in the distance, over yonder, we can see... Is this copper? Or lazarite? Or whatever? Oh no, it's more fuel. Well, we've got plenty of fuel, that's for sure. So anyway, welcome to the tundra. I've got a base started and what I'm going to do I think is work on that once I've finished, stop recording. Let's just take a quick look around. So you've seen how to take back off, you get back into your shuttle, it takes you up into space and then you choose a planet. Oh yeah, look at that, that is working nicely. So we're charging up. Now what I need to do once that's as that's filling up is go mining for a load of copper and then I can build a printer and start to make progress on the tundra but what I'll do in actual fact is I'll save that all for the next episode what content there is I want to show you so wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day see you in the next episode where I will probably do some exploring on this frozen planet. Goodbye.